Ladies and gentlemen, I'd plan to speak to you tonight to report on the State of the Union. But the events of earlier today have led me to change those plans. Today is a day for mourning and remembering. Nancy and I are pained to the core with the tragedy of the shuttle Challenger. We know we share this pain with all of the people of our country. This is truly a national loss. Nineteen years ago, almost to the day, we lost three astronauts in a terrible accident on the ground. But we've never lost an astronaut in flight. We've never had a tragedy like this. And perhaps we've forgotten the courage it took for the crew of the shuttle. But they, the Challenger 7, were aware of the dangers, but overcame them and did their jobs regularly. We mourn seven heroes, Michael Smith, Dick Scobie, Judith Resnick, Ronald McNair, Ellison Onizuka, Gregory Jarvis, and Krista McAuliffe. We mourn their loss as a nation together. <laughs> and burning. Two, one, and liftoff of Space Shuttle Atlantis, opening a new chapter in the completion of the International Space Booster Station. ignition and liftoff of the Space Shuttle Discovery lighting up the nighttime sky and building the International Space Station. Single engine Zaragoza 104. Ignition and liftoff of Discovery with a crew of six astronaut heroes one American legend. America's first space shuttle. And the shuttle has cleared the tower. Mission and liftoff of the United States and Russia. You are go for the plus X, go for the United pitch. States and Russia. Copy, Atlantis copies, nominal shutdown plane, go for the plus X, go for the pitch. Atlantis, no action on the cabin, DPDT. Roger, we have main Denver. engine start. Four, three, two, one, and liftoff. Liftoff of the 25th Space Shuttle Mission and a single engine up to tower. I don't want to stop these, single engine up three. Roger roll, Challenger. Good roll program confirmed. Challenger now heading down range. 
This day has brought terrible news and great sadness to our country. At 9 o'clock this morning, Mission Control in Houston lost contact with our space shuttle Columbia. A short time later, debris was seen falling from the skies above Texas. The Columbia is lost. There are no survivors. On board was a crew of seven. Colonel Rick Husband, Lieutenant Colonel Michael Anderson, Commander Laurel Clark, Captain David Brown, Commander William McCool, Dr. Kultna Shafla, and Ilan Ramon, a colonel in the Israeli Air Force. These men and women assumed great risk in the service to all humanity in an age when space flight has come to seem almost routine. It is easy to overlook the dangers of travel by rocket and the difficulties of navigating the fierce outer atmosphere of the Earth. Okay, thank you, Steve, and uh, we sure uh, enjoyed it also. It was. 